say I've been getting tatted. They say they like my thing. Yeah, I say that I'm flattered. They ask me where I've been. I say I've been getting tatted. Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how to set up a decan cable on ISTA and for IMPAR. As many of you guys know, when you use ISTA and IMPAR with an ICOM, there's many different ways you've got to do it. With IMPAR, you've got to lock the ICOM. And with ISTA, it changes the whole configuration. Now when people try and use a cable again, they need to change all the settings over. So I'm gonna show you today how to change them settings over on ISTA and how to use the right cable. Now you've got to remember when you buy a cable online, there's many, many different variants of the cable. So you've got to make sure you get this cable absolutely correct to be able to read all cars. So guys, now I'm just going to show you what you've got to make sure you check for. Now you've got to remember guys, when you first install ISTA, it's already configured for an ICOM. Now, if you do use an ICOM, you cannot just plug in a cable if you've got a cable the next time and you don't have your icon and expect it to work. So the settings you're going to have to change, I'm going to show you right now, is you'll have to go into the local disk C, which is right here. You'll have to go into your Edia Bass settings. Now, mine is already set up for a cable because I use this on the bench, as a lot of you guys know. Now, what you're going to want to go and do is once you've set it up on COM port one, which uh, you would see in my previous video regarding this as well, is you wanna to go to your edit bias settings. Now, as you'll see right there, it's already set up for STB, OBD, and also remote base. But what happens right there on them settings is that will switch over to remote, and you have to put that back for cable. So make sure you retype that, exactly like that, back in. So it'll be STD dot dot OBD, and make sure you put that in the edit bias settings there. Now, it isn't just that you've got to, make sure you check also make sure you check is in the next settings on rain gold which will be in the edit by settings as well you want to go into your bin and you also want to make sure that this hasn't switched over because this one here which it shows std obd will switch over to remote that is when you'll get your pad active errors and your cable not responding to the cars or you'll get vehicle information not successful where it usually can't read the car because that's still sitting as remote connection now, after you've done all that, what you're gonna wanna do is just close that out. And then you're gonna wanna load up ISTA. And then once ISTA's loaded, you're then gonna wanna go into your settings up here. You're then gonna wanna go into your vehicle interface and you're gonna wanna change that over to Eddie Bias. Now, it will be set as dealer organization, ICOM, ENET, and local area network, which is this one. If you're not using an ICOM, you don't wanna be using that one. You wanna be using the Eddie Bass default settings. So make sure it's switched over to that. Otherwise, again, it won't communicate with the car. Now, to link up the cable, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to get your cable. Now, as you see here, mine's got a switch and it's to the left. Now, a lot of people don't realize this, they end up buying a cable without a switch. If you do not have a cable with a switch, you will only be able to read certain cars. This switch is the switch between the PT can line, for instance, E46, E53 and E39. They run on the K line on the E60s and E90s. So you gotta make sure you got this switch to switch it over. Now, what I have got, it's got it to the left, and that's where you have to make sure you're gonna have it if you're gonna use it on an E90 or an E60. What you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to grab your USB and plug it straight into the USB slot right there. Then you're gonna to wanna to take your cable, as you see, then you're just gonna to wanna to plug it into the car itself there. So the cable's all plugged in, ready to go. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the laptop and we're just gonna go complete identification. Now, keys in the ignition ignition is on and all we're going to do is just read the car which as you see it reads straight away on the e60 it reads very very fast compared to the e46 and it's already reading so as you see here it's doing a readout of the car now, as you see all my modules are green my dme i haven't got no faults in any of them which is really good as you guys know you've seen it straight away on the first scan it's probably been the first scan that i've done in months We've only got one for the antenna, which I don't know what that one's for, but we'll see what that one's for in a minute. Probably from too many wake-up cycles. But that's how you read the car, guys. So let's just see what that fault is for the antenna. Diversity antenna not connected. Well, it is because it's unlocking the car, so... And the radio is working, so it is completely working. So we'll just clear them out. But that's how you set up a decan cable, guys, anyway. That's how you would do it. And as you see, my modules are all green. Now I'm going to show you how to configure this for an E46. 
and your E39 and your E53 cars, as I know a lot of you who watch this ain't gonna have E60 on E90, so this ain't gonna relate to you. So let's go over to the E46, I'm gonna show you how to configure it on there. So guys, I just want you to see we are in E46. As you guys will know, we're gonna be finding the OBD port, which is right here. Now, on the decan cable itself, you guys are gonna wanna switch the switch over to the right. And this is why I said, you guys need to make sure you buy a cable with this switch. It is very, very important. Without that switch, you will not be able to read these cars. All you're gonna wanna do is connect it straight into there. As you see, get your USB cable and plug it straight into your laptop. Now, ignition is on. Now, I expect this car to have fault codes because it always bloody does. So, Let's just complete the identification. Now, be aware on E46 and on E39, it can take a lot longer because it reads from the PT can. So it's not as quick as the E60s and E90s. It takes a long time to read the car. So we're gonna let it read, which you'll see once it starts reading, then I'll, we'll come back on the camera. I just want you guys to see that it does work straight away. The same settings, you just have to change the switch over on the cable to make it read. So as you see, that's already reading the VIN. It'll read the whole car out. So we'll come back after it's done because this can take quite a bit of time to read on these cars. So we'll come back after that. So there we have it guys, it's still reading but I'm very, very surprised. The DME's clear of faults, which I'm quite surprised at. The PDC, we got quite a few faults in, which I would expect him. The alarm, memory, passenger compartment front, interior lights, PDC converter, rear center left. So we got PDC faults out as well on that one. We're just gonna clear them. But as you see there guys, it works on E46. You just gotta make sure that you have that cable with the correct switch. But as you see, it works on all the cars, providing you've got the cable with the switch. Now, I'm just gonna take that out. Always make sure when you buy from any sellers on Amazon, be it eBay, you always get them with this switch. This switch is very, very important. The reason mine is my laptop is set up, like I said, for a cable and not the iCom is because this laptop specifically stays on the bench, as you guys know and it's used on a bench, and on a bench, I don't need to use an icon. I'm not flashing eye drive, I'm just doing a pro, and cable is fine. You do not, take, listen to me right now, you do not need an icon at all. The only reason you need an icon is to stop bricking GM transmissions and for the iDrive, but you are not gonna get no gains from updating the iDrive, so you do not even think of it. If you've got a GM gearbox, you can buy a bit of Bimmer Geeks cable, which can do the GM transmission, which is as fast as an iCom. I've got a new device that's gonna be coming in, which is 10, 20 times better than an iCom. It's just been made, it reads the same communication as an iCom, and it's a lot more slimmer, it's a lot more better than an iCom. You guys are gonna enjoy this. It's a nice little device that they finally created instead of carrying that big box around, and it runs as fast as an iCom. So this is how you set up a cable. I'm gonna move it back to the left because I do a lot of E60 and E90 cars, so I don't need it for this car, but this is how you configure it for an E46, E39, and E53. So there you have it, guys. I've just shown you how to configure the KDCAN cable to use for ISTA if you've been using an ICOM, and this is the same way you'd configure it um, when you first install ISTA because ISTA is set to run on an ICOM from default. So this is how you need to change the settings if you're getting no communication with your cable. Make sure you change them settings in the rain gold folder on the Eddie Abbas um, settings because they will have remote. You need to set it to make it work with a cable. This does not apply for IMPA. You'll be able to use IMPA straight away with the same settings like that, just with the cable. It will pick up the cable on the COM, com one and it will just use IMPA and you can use WinKFP and the rest of them normally. But I get asked this a lot, and this is the reason I've done this video, because I know a lot of you guys are getting very, very mixed up with how to set up a cable after you've done the ICOM. For the E-Net, you do not have to do no configuration. All you have to do, you just plug it in just like an ICOM, and it'll work straight away with the E-Net cable as well, and that's for F-Series. You do not have to change any configuration around for that. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. If you have enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and subscribe. This is BMW Dr. Dean here. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.